So we've been talking about rain totals, right? And I've talked you through how much it has changed. Every time I hit refresh, it just, it changes, right? This is a lot of information, but the one I want you to focus on is a 24 hour rainfall, 8.86 inches of rain. That is the second highest amount of rainfall in a 24 hour period on record. August rainfall now up to 9.75, almost 10 inches, the most that we have had since October of 2018. The second wettest August on record, by the way. And here is where the rain is. It's not going anywhere just yet. Uh, we continue to see some of that heavy rain across portions of the Metroplex, zooming in here across the Metroplex, Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Tarrant County, both under flash flood warnings until one this afternoon because we have seen a lot of rainfall. There are parts of, of Tarrant County that have seen over seven inches of rain and it's still coming down and it doesn't matter if it's coming down heavier light at this point. It's going to continue to cause issues because that runoff is now moving into our streams. It's now moving into our rivers and those are going to swell temporarily. Now this is uh, now showing you Monday 1145. You can see some of that heavy rain extending into Carrollton, even portions of Denton County. I know Denton County has been one of those areas that hasn't seen as much rain as the surrounding locations, but now seeing a good dose of moderate rainfall uh, across the entire county. Collin County seeing light rainfall also still likely causing uh, some slick spots on the roadways and that heavy rain extends now south into portions of Johnson and Ellis counties now both under those flash flood warnings as well until 115. This is a radar loop, so it's showing you over the past hour. I'm doing this so I can show you how this is moving. That band of heavy rain moves from west to east, now extending from Cleburne all the way to Midlothian along 67, if you're familiar with that area, uh, and it'll continue to cause some issues, continue to cause some ponding along those roadways as well. Now this is a long band of rain that extends all the way into portions of the Texas Hill Country, south of the big country, and it continues to move on towards the east. The flood watch, by the way, it has now been expanded uh, until seven for all of North Texas. Before it was just for Interstate uh, 20 and south. Now it's all of North Texas is going to be under that flood watch for the remainder of, of uh, the day. So our localized flood threat is going to be greatest between now and the early afternoon. The flood threat does decrease late afternoon, but does not completely go away. Tonight, the flood risk is going to lower and the highest risk is going to be for the Metroplex towards the east and to the south. That's where the rain is currently moving. It's moving into these areas, but don't get me wrong. It's elevated just about everywhere. I'm just highlighting the highest risk for the flooding right here in the red. We can still expect an additional one to three inches of rainfall by the time this is all said and done. The highest totals to come are still along East Texas, where that area of low pressure is currently pushing all this rain into. Remember, I showed you it's moving all of this rain to the east. I'm going to show you the timeline now. This is Monday, two in the afternoon. The rain that's over the Metroplex now is going to shift towards the south and towards the east. That's why the highest totals will be expected out here. And we'll notice that this rain continues to taper off from north to south. It'll be light by the time, say, 4 o'clock rolls around. A lot of us driving around that time, but still going to see some issues on our roadways. This water is going to take some time for it to recede, so you got to be patient with it. And we are going to see the cloud cover. We'll see some scattered showers throughout the remainder of Monday evening, and then we'll see it finally calming down overnight. We'll still see some trouble spots though, so be careful out there. So again, just a, an overview of the storm timeline around midday. The heavy rain continues. The flash flood warning is still going to be in place. We are going to continue to see those messy roadways this afternoon. We'll see rounds of storms and showers becoming less widespread and mostly moving to the south and to the east and then evening overnight hours, some lingering showers. The heaviest rain by that point will be south and east of the area. Uh, we will have uh, temperatures staying in the low 80s today. That's a plus side, right? We'll continue to have highs in the 80s the next couple of days as rain chances kind of linger with us, but definitely not as heavy as what we're seeing today. Uh, luckily, because Stacia, we are seeing a lot of problems on our roads. Yeah, unfortunately, I just saw another one about five minutes ago. So this is a shot of I-20 at Westmoreland in both directions, getting reports of high water. Obviously, you can see the water is substantially high there, but you had this vehicle, this black car, compact car, small. It was trying to make it through and it stalled out and it's been there the last five to ten minutes so basically 
If you think it's too high, don't even attempt to go through this area because I think everybody else was going through. You have a lot of SUVs, trucks, bigger vehicles making it. If you have a smaller car, just not a good idea. Any uh, type of doubt you have at all, I would definitely just not even attempt those high water crossings. Also, we're seeing, again, just a lot of congestion across the Metroplex, usually around this time. It's pretty slow. Not the situation today. Obviously, I-20 south of Dallas, you have all kinds of problems there with slow moving traffic. 45 at 30, another problem area. Again, stay home if you can. Mark?